Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Bandsaw Safety. Bandsaws use a powered and rotating continuous metal blade to make even and precise cuts on metal, wood, and other objects. Because the moving blade has cutting teeth, serious injury and even death can occur if you use a bandsaw incorrectly. The bandsaw is one of the most versatile saws around. There are vertical bandsaws, meaning the blade runs in an up-to-down direction and, horizontal band saws, which have blades that cut in a side-to-side -side direction. Here is an overview of a few recommended steps we should take to help us avoid some of the hazards commonly associated with band saws. Make certain the band saw blade you are using is suitable for the type of material to be cut, and the type of cut you will be making. For example, wider blades with fewer teeth are usually best suited for making rough cuts, whereas thinner blades with more teeth are better suited for making scroll cuts and tight turns. Make sure the saw blade has been set to the proper tension before use, and periodically recheck and readjust the tension when needed. Also make certain there are no broken teeth, bent sections, or other damage to the blade. Adjust the blade guide post as close to the material being cut as practical to provide stability to the saw blade and to minimize the unguarded portion of the saw blade. Then, make certain the blade guard has been adjusted to cover the unused portion of the blade. Make sure all enclosures or access covers over pulleys and the saw blade are closed and secured to prevent accidental contact with the sharp blade and with nip points. Before cutting wood, inspect the material for knots, nails, staples, or other items that could create a hazard if they contact the saw blade. Avoid making cuts that strike these objects. Never place any part of your hand directly in line with the saw blade when pushing the material to be cut. Instead, make sure your hands stay to the sides of the saw blade to avoid injury in case your hand slips or you push too far. And always utilize a push stick, where necessary, to feed material to prevent your hands from getting too close to the band saw blade. Never reach with your hand to pick up material that has been cut until the machine has been turned off and the saw blade has come to a complete stop. Always utilize proper PPE and be sure to avoid wearing loose-fitting clothing and gloves. Perform routine maintenance and inspections according to the manufacturer's recommendations and before each use. Before you do any maintenance work, turn the band saw off and wait for it to come to a complete stop. Use lockout slash tagout to prevent accidental startups during your work. If the band saw needs repair, unplug it and take it out of service until it is safe to use. During inspection and maintenance work, ensure that the blocks and wheels are adjusted properly, and the blade is in good condition. Set blade tension within manufacturer standards. Ensure the blade is positioned properly on track. All guards should be in place before use. When you use a band saw, adjust the blade guards to within 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from the top of the material. A wider gap will place tension on the blade and increase the risk of breaking. Start up the band saw and let it come to full speed before you begin cutting. Keep the stock flat on the work surface, do not try to hold it in your hands. Keep hands at least 3 inches from the blade. Use stock pushers, miter gauges, jigs, and fences when you can for accuracy and safety. When you cut curves in material, move the pieces slowly to avoid placing too much tension on the blade. If you need to back out of a cut, hold the material firmly in place and shut the machine down. Wait for the blade to stop completely to remove the piece. When you cut tight curves or angles, consider relief cuts on short sections of material at a time instead of one long cut that may stress the blade. 